Today we're in Jeremiah chapter 19, and on and on we go with God dealing with the sin of Israel, the rebellion. In this chapter, God uses some imagery. You know, all through Jesus' ministry, he used all kinds of stories and imagery. He would talk about a house built on a rock, or a camel going through the eye of a needle, or a millstone hung around someone's neck. And so Jeremiah uses some powerful imagery that has to do with pottery. Listen to what the Lord says to Jeremiah. Go buy a potter's clay jug. Take some of the elders of the people and some of the elders of the priests and go out to the Valley of Hinnon. Now here's what the valley was. It says, they have filled this place, talking about that valley, with the blood of the innocent. They have built high places to Baal, on which to burn their children in the fire of burnt offerings to Baal, something I have never commanded or mentioned. I never entertained the thought. So here's what's going on. God has been fed up with the idolatry, but especially now when it has reached the innocent children that they're sacrificing in this valley of Hinnon to the God of Baal. So he says, I want you to go with the priests. I want you to take this clay jug. And here's what he says. You are to shatter the jug in their presence, and you are to proclaim to them, this is what the Lord of hosts says, I will shatter these people and this city like one shatters a potter's jar that can never again be mended. God in a very graphic, visible way says, because you have killed innocent children, you have made this a valley of blood, I'm gonna shatter the nation. And he gives them a visual image of what it's looked like. You take a, a clay jar and you shatter it and you can't put it back together the way it once was. And he's saying, you can't mend this situation once I deal with you. It's a call to repentance. And it's a visible picture of what God says I will do. And I think sometimes God gets very visual with us. He gets very loud and his heart is not to condemn. His heart is not to judge, but it's to restore. And when people get caught in things, God many times will give them an image of what's going to happen if they don't change. So here in Jeremiah chapter 19 and all through Jeremiah, we see God wrestling back and forth using imagery here with Jeremiah to say, come back to me or you'll be shattered into pieces. And you know what? A life without the Lord, a person who turns their back on the Lord, and especially those, in my opinion, and I think biblically, who harm innocent children, God takes it very seriously. And he says, I will have to deal with you in a very difficult way. Jeremiah chapter 19, God dealing with his people who shed the blood of innocent children.